Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to install Kali Linux on Windows 11 using WSL. This is a step-by-step -step guide. So even if you are new to this, you will be able to follow along easily. Before we dive into the installation process, let's quickly talk about what WSL is. It stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. It allows you to run Linux distribution alongside your Windows operating system without the need for a virtual machine. It's a fantastic tool for developers, IT professionals, and cybersecurity experts who need the power of Linux within their Windows environment. In this video tutorial, I will refer the following steps for installing Kali Linux using WSL. First, enable WSL and Virtual Machine Platform feature and then reboot your system. Set WSL2 as a default version. Install Linux kernel update package for WSL. Get Kali Linux from Microsoft Store. Set the initial username and password post installing Kali Linux. And finally, install GUI in your Kali Linux using WinKX. Let's jump into the installation step. First thing first, we need to enable WSL on the Windows 11. For that, start the PowerShell in administrative rights. Search here PowerShell. Click on run as an administrator. Run the first command to enable the WSL. The second command will enable the virtual machine platform feature. I'll share this, these commands in the description of the video for your reference. Hit enter. Copy the second command. Okay, the output confirms that both the commands has been executed successfully. In order to make these changes into the effect, we need to reboot our system. Click on restart. After the reboot, set WSL version 2 as the default version. WSL 2 offers improved performance with full Linux kernel support and better compatibility for Joker and other Linux applications. Whereas WSL1 has the faster file system performance for basic tasks. Choose WSL2 for more advanced development needs and WSL1 for simpler use cases. Open the PowerShell as an administrator and enter the following command. This command will set the WSL default version as 2. Hit enter. The output confirms that operation has been completed successfully. Now next, install the Linux kernel update package. To avoid running into the errors while running Kali Linux, it is recommended to install Linux kernel update package for the WSL. In the Google search, Download Linux kernel update package for WSL. Hit enter. Click on the uh, official Microsoft link. Go to the step 4. And click on this link. This will start downloading the uh, WSL update uh, file. Once the file is downloaded, double click on it in order to install. Follow the sc screen instructions to finish the installation. 
once its installation is completed click on finish and move to the next step head over to the microsoft store search kali linux there click on the icon click on install it will start downloading this kali linux app on your system depending upon your internet speed it may take minute 2 minutes or 3 minutes max once it is installed click on open this may take a minute or two for initializing the kali linux specify your initial username that will be used in your kali linux specify the password okay this confirms that our installation is successful okay now install all the available updates so that we'll have the latest patches for our kali linux for that run to do app update specify the password of your local user that you have just created above next run sudo apt upgrade hyphen y so this command will install all the available updates hit enter now install the wincax utility to enable the gui in our kali linux for that we need to install kali hyphen win hyphen cax package run sudo apt install kali hyphen win hyphen cax and why hit enter once installed launch the gui using the command cax space hyphen hyphen win then hyphen s and then hit enter set the password type n this will take us to the our kali linux gui kx utility provides three modes window mode it will start the kali linux in a dedicated window enhanced session mode it uses the rdb protocol to provide a richer ui experience and the seamless mode in this mode it shares the window desktop between the windows and the kali linux and the menus so this is our gui for our kali linux if you open a terminal you type it this confirms that we are running a kali linux of version 2024 
Okay. Now, in order to come out of the GUI, you need to press F8 key along with the function key. And click on disconnect. Okay, we are back on the CLI. Okay, in order to manage this uh, Kali Linux instance or Kali Linux WSL, we can start, stop, right? So for that, we need to go back to the PowerShell again. run as an administrator. In order to view what are the different Linux distributions I'm running as in WSL type WSL hyphen L and then hyphen V. This output confirms that we are running a Kali Linux WSL. The state is running and its version is WSL2. Okay. Now, in order to stop or shut down this instance, we can use WSL. Shut down. And then the name of your uh, WSL. Here in this, in our case is Kali Linux. Okay, now if you rerun the above command, this confirms that our Kali Linux is, is stopped. Now, in order to start this Kali Linux again, type WSL hyphen D. D stands for distribution, and the distribution name is Kali Linux. Okay, now in order to access this Kali Linux again, from the start menu, search Kali Linux. Okay, we got a separate window for this. Now from here on, again, you can start your GUI and then start exploring the different functionalities of your Kali Linux. That's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have successfully installed Kali Linux on your Windows 11 using WSL. Feel free to post your questions, queries and feedback in the below comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye. Have a nice day.